Well, everybody, I was going to try to go live and do some rooting, but apparently I can no longer go live on my channel because I don't have a thousand subs. So they changed that requirement. So I'm just recording here. Sorry if there's any noise. But it's been a while and I thought, well... Why not come here while I do some rooting? Um, it's a shame. I thought I could go live. But I tried. So this isn't going to be a very long video. I just wanted to show, like, when it comes to rooting, yes, it can be expensive. But you have to think, too. An artist is going to sit there for hours and they're going to root in the hair preferably um, I, I, I like to uh, micro root there's a different ways there's rooting which is just standard somebody putting it in the needle how many hairs pick up it is what it is I pretty much micro root just not to get more than two to three hairs in per puncture um, and then there is a mono root. A mono root is when an artist specifically, or rooter specifically, only roots in one hair. One hair at a time. That's a mono root. So you guys know the difference. Um, of course, it's harder to achieve a thicker head of hair on a baby in a mono root depending on the hair and the thickness of the hair so keep that in mind as well and why it can take so long requires a nice steady hand patience and a lot of time um, and then you have to seal the hair properly I uh, I always seal the hair more than once when I root. And I angle the baby's head. Versus my wrist to save me. Um, Cause I root in directionally. Um, so I prefer just to move baby's head around. This one is almost done as you can see. And anyway, just thought I'd come on here. Um, do this I don't know really what to say because I was hoping to go live um, kiddos here go back to school here soon um, they've been out for summer Just some rooting. I don't know if showing you this helps you any. Um, sometimes if the vinyl is harder, I need to add heat. And how I do that is I have a sock with rice in it and I warm it up in the microwave and place it inside the baby's head. I'll let it rest on the side for a little bit, the side that I'm working on. And then I go in and start rooting and then um, keep doing that as I need to. Um, but I only warm in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half max. And um, because of possible moisture or to keep the rice from burning, I'll put a coffee cup in the microwave with just some water in it so I can warm the rice properly. 
but don't be afraid if you see a little moisture because that that'll happen um, the warm water really won't hasn't hurt the inside of the baby's head I can't say it won't because I've never had it happen but I don't know if anybody's done it and it's been too hot and it damaged the kit um, but that's what I do and this is just me rooting and this is I find it comforting I like to root some artists don't prefer to because it can be quite hairy um, the tip for that on that is make sure you have a roller uh, one of those lint roller brushes and I wear an apron so that way I can take it off if I have to get up and do something and not be covered in hair um, I also keep a pair of tweezers by me so that way if too many hairs come in um, I can remove it and one thing I did find that was really nice really neat not nice both, I guess I have a pair of twi tweezers that have a magnifying glass on it and believe it or not I got it from an auto body shop I got this one particular at uh, Pep Boys and that gives me a better view see so and I paid about two dollars for it so if anybody's looking to get something that might help I did see some that actually have a light on the end of it too in the auto sections so that may be helpful for some of you well I'm gonna let y'all go I don't want to be on too long like I said I'm just gonna finish up this baby um, and then I'll have to seal the hair and trim the hair you guys have a good night